You're standing in Best Buy, staring at two TVs playing the same movie, and one looks like you're peering through a window into another world, while the other looks like the best TV you saw last year. One costs $2,500, and the other costs $1,200. But here's the twist. Most shoppers can't even tell which is which until someone points out the differences. Which screen technology actually deserves your money? And why does the answer change completely based on one simple question about your living room? Today I'll explain mini-LED versus OLED like you're five years old. By the end, you'll understand exactly which technology fits your space, your budget, and how you actually watch TV. Most people think all flat screens are basically the same now. Just pick the biggest one that fits your wall, right? But the difference between mini-LED and OLED isn't about size or sharpness. It's about how each pixel creates light, and that changes everything. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. Each pixel makes its own light. When a pixel needs to show black, it just turns off completely. Pure darkness. Mini-LED is different. It's still a screen with a backlight behind it. But instead of a few dozen zones, Mini-LED uses thousands of tiny lights in thousands of zones. More zones means more control over what lights up and what stays dark. Here's why that matters. Imagine you're watching a space movie. Stars twinkling in deep black space. With OLED, those black areas are actually off. No glow, no haze. Just perfect darkness, with bright stars popping through. With Mini-LED, those black areas are still backlit by tiny lights behind the screen. The TV tries hard to dim the zones around the stars, but sometimes a little glow bleeds through. That's called blooming. Modern Mini-LED panels have gotten really good at controlling it, but it's still there if you look closely. OLED simply doesn't have this problem because black pixels produce zero light. When you're watching something like The Batman or Dune with tons of dark scenes, OLED makes you feel like you're in a theater. Now flip the situation. You're watching daytime TV with sunlight pouring through your windows. OLED screens can hit maybe 700 to 1000 nits of brightness depending on the model. That's bright enough for most content in darker rooms, but in a sunny room, reflections and glare can wash out the picture. Mini-LED goes nuclear. Top mini-LED TVs can blast past 2,000 nits, sometimes even higher. That extra brightness cuts through ambient light like a spotlight. Sports, news, cooking shows, anything you watch during the day just pops harder on mini-LED. The colors stay vibrant even with your curtains wide open. You're not squinting or closing blinds to see what's happening on screen. In a bright room, OLED looks good, but mini-LED looks incredible. This matters because most people don't watch TV in a dark theater room. You watch in a living room with lamps on, windows open, kids running around. Mini-LED thrives in that chaos. OLED shines when the lights go down and you're settling in for a movie night. If your room gets bright during the times you actually watch TV, OLED struggles to compete. If your room is dim or dark most of the time, OLED delivers an experience Mini-LED can't quite match. High dynamic range content is where both technologies flex. HDR means brighter whites and darker blacks in the same frame. Mini-LED uses its insane brightness to make explosions, sunsets, and highlights look almost blinding. Fireworks scenes look like they're actually burning. OLED takes a different approach. It combines perfect blacks with controlled brightness to create depth that feels natural and cinematic. A candle flame in a dark room on OLED looks hauntingly real. On Mini-LED, it looks impressively bright. Some people prefer the Mini-LED fireworks. Others love the OLED subtlety. Neither is wrong. It's just preference and environment. Now let's talk about longevity. OLED panels use organic materials that degrade slowly over time. If you leave a bright, static image on the screen for hours every day, those pixels can burn in permanently. Think news channel logos or video game health bars. Modern OLEDs have protections like pixel shifting and automatic screensavers, and burn-in is way less common than it used to be. Rings ran a test with CNN on screen for 20 hours a day, and it took over two years to see noticeable burn-in. But it's still possible with extreme use. Mini-LED doesn't have this issue at all. You can leave it on all day showing the same thing, and nothing will permanently damage the pixels. If you're using your TV as a computer monitor, or you watch the same news channel for 8 hours daily, Mini-LED is the safer bet. For normal watching habits, OLED is probably fine. But the anxiety about burn-in is real for some people. Gaming is another battleground worth understanding. OLED has near-instant response time because pixels turn on and off individually with no delay. 
No motion blur, no ghosting, fast action looks razor sharp. Mini-LED is improving rapidly with better processing in local dimming zones, but it still relies on a backlight, so response times aren't quite as fast. Competitive gamers notice this during intense sessions. Both technologies now support 120Hz refresh rates and variable refresh rate features, so either one works great with a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X. OLED gives you slightly better motion clarity and feels more responsive. Mini LED gives you brighter gameplay and zero burn-in anxiety if you're playing the same game for hundreds of hours with static UI elements. Here's what you need to understand about price and value. A 65-inch OLED from LG or Sony can run you $1,800 to $3,000 depending on the model. A 65-inch Mini LED from TCL, Hisense, or Samsung might cost $1,000 to $2,000 for comparable specs. You're paying a premium for OLED's perfect blacks and instant response. Mini LED offers incredible value because it gets you most of the visual experience for significantly less money. If your budget is tight, Mini LED delivers way more performance per dollar. If money isn't the issue and you want the absolute best picture in a dark room, OLED is still the reference standard. That price gap also means you could get a bigger mini LED screen for the same money as a smaller OLED. The technology race isn't slowing down. Samsung is pushing Quantum Dot OLED, which combines Quantum Dots with OLED panels to boost brightness and color range. LG is refining their OLED panels to hit higher brightness without sacrificing lifespan. Meanwhile, mini LED makers are shrinking the lights even further and adding more dimming zones, closing the gap on contrast performance. In two or three years, the difference between these technologies might shrink even more. But right now, in 2025, the gap is still real and it matters for your purchase decision. So here's the breakdown that actually helps you decide. OLED gives you perfect blacks, incredible contrast, and a cinematic experience that feels premium in every way. It's best for dark rooms, movie lovers, and gamers who want zero motion blur. But it costs more, doesn't get as bright, and carries a small risk of burn-in if you're not careful. Mini LED gives you explosive brightness, excellent HDR punch, and unbeatable value for the performance. It's best for bright rooms, daytime viewing, sports, and anyone who wants a stunning picture without the premium price or burn-in worries. It just can't match OLED's perfect black levels or instant response time in fast motion. The right choice isn't about which technology is better overall. It's about which one fits your actual life and viewing habits. If you're in a bright living room watching TV all day with the family, Mini LED makes way more sense. If you're in a dim basement with a dedicated movie setup, OLED will blow your mind every time. If you game competitively and want every advantage, OLED's response time wins. If you game casually and want a bright, vibrant image, Mini LED is perfectly fine. If you're on a budget, Mini LED gives you premium features without the premium cost. If you want the absolute best and you're okay spending extra, OLED is still the reference standard that reviewers measure everything against. Neither technology is going anywhere. Both will keep improving year after year. And honestly, both are so good now that most people would be thrilled with either one. The only bad choice is buying based on hype or brand loyalty instead of understanding how you actually use your TV. Your room matters more than reviews. Your budget matters more than specs. Your viewing habits matter more than what won awards at trade shows. So here's the real question. Does the perfect black of OLED matter enough to you to pay more and sacrifice brightness? Or does Mini LED's brightness and value make it the smarter pick for how you actually watch TV every single day?